Hello, Jeff Tischer here from Open Autonomy. Today I'm going to talk about using the Open Autonomy RSS reader application inside your, your identity to extend your social network. Uh, what this means is that you can actually attach this to other things you might have, like a web log or video log somewhere else. And uh, with Open Autonomy, it'll actually use this to make sure that anything you post or, or change in any of those places actually will show up in your own social feed in open autonomy as though you'd set it there too. This way you don't have to, uh, you can actually use the best capabilities of all the different systems that you're using and open autonomy doesn't force you to choose, doesn't try and make you only use this or anything like that. So this can be useful because a lot of us have things like web logs, video logs, things like that that have uh, been around for a while but really don't interoperate well with the modern social networks because they're, they're trying to make us choose only them. A lot of these older services didn't work that way. They just wanted to solve a problem. So I'll show you how this works. First, you go to on this server. Again, this is just a, a demo user on one of the demo servers. Um, and from here, I'm actually going to, you can see there's this button here, create RSS reader instance. Now every user that's created on um, the openautonomy.com server uh, does have permission to create one of these. So it should look like this if you try this on the, the main server. I'm going to create the instance. So what this does is it creates this application. Um, and right now it's configured to do nothing. The details here are basically just for if you're trying to figure out the specifics of exactly what it's doing. For the most part, that's not needed. Usually you're just interested in cached items and the actual setting of what URL it's watching. Now this isn't set to do anything right now. But first what I have to do is whenever you add a new application, you have to tell your identity that you actually authorize it to do uh, to interact with your other applications because the RSS reader will create social items in your social networking app so that means that it needs access to it so the only way an application has access to other applications is with maximum full access so I'll do that and save the changes so now it should be ready to go so I'll go over here and what I'm going to do is just as an example of, uh, of something you can use for this, because I'm just going to show sort of the, uh, what the result of this is, not waiting to see the result. But if I do something like um, you know, youtube.com slash disher, this should find me the video feed that this, this, uh, this video is going to be posted to. So once it found it, uh, it's generally pretty good at finding things that kind of look related to what you what you wanted. RSS actually works really well for this. Uh, it's very good at helping uh, programs find each other. So as you can see, it actually found this. Um, I'm not really that going to go into details into the, the details here because for the most part they don't really matter. Uh, but you can see that it did definitely say uploads by Jeff Disher. So it did actually find what I wanted it to. And so there's a bunch of things that are here in the list, and this of course links directly to those those videos. Now, what actually happens? I'm not going to wait till something new shows up there to show it go through. But what's it actually look like when it comes out? Well, here's an example of one on one of my other machines where um, this software execution models video that I posted a few days ago has actually shown up. So here, this is actually what it'll look like in your social feed. This is any other item, any other. This is like any other social item. You can, um, people can reply to it. Anyone who's watching me can see it. Uh, but this is what it'll look like. So this is kind of, it, it really puts the information that I want directly into the feed, quite, quite painlessly, because the nice thing is that it doesn't require that I actually do anything in order for this to happen. The RSS reader will just go pick up this information periodically and it ch checks between five minutes and every one hour, depending on how much activity there is on the other side. So this means that I can now connect all those old systems, my web log, my video log, things like that, and Open Autonomy will read them for me and make sure that uh, my social network is notified when changes are made there. So there's, there's a few caveats that I want to mention with this. First of all, this only works for, for kind of public data. If, for example, I had some sort of restricted uh, videos on this that only people who had the link or something like that can find it, these would not show up in the feed. Similarly, a lot of things like weblogs 
have privacy settings where you can actually restrict who can see what's going on. Anything that's restricted to be non-public will not show up here either. So it's only for public information and it also is only set to produce public information. So anything that is read out of one of these feeds um, because it is public information on the internet, it becomes a public entry in your social feed. So that still should handle the majority of cases where you're actually just trying to get information out there and, and publish content for others to see. So anyway, I hope that explains uh, this feature well and that it seems useful. As usual, uh, if there's any questions or comments, post them to this uh, video here or send me an email at jeff.disher at openautonomy.com. Thanks.